Hello, and this probably will suck, editing-wise. I can I can just sense it right off the bat, but... Welcome back for a bonus part of Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Blind. I just uh, got Resident Evil 3 off the PSN, and you know what? I gotta say that. Why? Why, Sony? Why? It's like, oh, I see you've already got enough. And your wallet that to buy the game, we can see that, but uh, what was your card details again? It's like, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, no, we cannot, you cannot buy it unless you this, ah, seriously. Don't get that shit with a PS4, man. Freaking bullshit. Anyways, it was a range game, wasn't it? Or whatever it was, I don't know. Resident Evil. There was something. That seemed like there was some kind of extra mode or something. And you know, setting up as usual is a pain in the ass. Oh wait. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. That stupid thing, it didn't do it properly. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong mode. It's been a while. I've been like recording using mostly the PS4 as of late. So setting up for the PS3 again is a pain in the ass. Fuck you! <laughs> Rookie mode, and I'm getting my ass absolutely handed to me. How many hits can you take in Rookie mode? This isn't a mode this bonus part's about, but... Yeah, so I wonder why that guy died on the roof, firing a machine gun, even if any of those bullets hit the machine gun's useless. And it's unlimited. Can I... Yeah, um... I don't know if that, I think that was probably Select that did that. Maybe we start, I don't know. Resident Evil. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the one. Extreme Battle! What are the results? Level one, nothing. Extreme battle begin. What's this gonna be? Is it like an entirely different mode? Intense music. What? 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 <coughs> what is this? This is like an entirely different mode. I see you back there, you two other characters. Maybe the one got. Maybe the one next to her is Chris. I can tell from the silhouette in the background. That's probably Ada. So this, like, you unlock those characters by playing through this, or maybe through multiple play playthroughs of the, 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 the game on different difficulties. Let's have a look see here. You don't have as much. You got grenade launchers. We got a variety. Okay, let's go with Leon. What kind of mode is this gonna be? Gonna have different controls? Because this looks. It kind of has an RPG kind of look to it. A hazardous virus has been detected inside the transport train. Return to the police present. Find the four special. 
arms located within and use them to incinerate all traces of the virus. Although unknown threats and terrors will be encountered throughout your mission, the fate of all the humankind depends upon your immediate action. Good luck! Which is unexpected. Oh. Okay, it's not a different mode. It is, but not really. So why you start me here? What am I to do? Anything in there? Uh, just a knife. Do you get to save? It's another library. Yes. No. What even is all this? I was expecting like a kind of first person kind of old fashioned shooter or something to pop up like an on rail kind of thing. So what am I supposed to do? Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies. Oh yeah, there's something about four bombs, right? Let's just go let's go around and see what we can do. Cause I have no idea. It's like I didn't look into what this mode was. It was just like, and hey, it's might try that again, you know. There's a bonus part, but didn't really know what to expect from it, and I still don't know what to expect from it. All I know is there's a lot of zombies. Okay, that is a lot of zombies. I don't really have uh, many rounds, though. Fuck it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. The game's just like, ah, uh, there are four bombs or some shit. Uh, you figure out the rest. I imagine it's only the lab that we get to explore. Oh, fuck. I looked down for one second. Fuck you! You guys, too. Fuck off! Oh my god, he got absolutely obliterated. I feel there's gonna be a larger emphasis on he's still alive somehow. Conserving ammo. Fuck off, you little bastard. Push the other guy over too, yeah. Fuck. It's a train wreck. They send one man to do the job. The only trouble is, they didn't really give him all that many direct. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hellhounds! Hellhounds! Oh, what are these guys doing in here? I guess this is why it's called battle mode. They don't give you much ammo though, so... Not much of a battle, really. We tried to freaking... He's like... Rawr. We're safe in here. Except for the... Oh. We are actually. There's, there's some neat herbs here. I'd forgot all about the health spray that I also had there. We're all fun dandy. We'll probably die, but. Well, at least we won't die quickly. Well, that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know in this case, because we're surrounded by zombies, hellhounds, and there's probably a liquor or two hanging about, I'd imagine. I mean, I don't know where to go. It's all it's all I can recall it saying was something about four bombs. Oh, 
I see some stuff over there. Ah, they're just herbs. Blue herbs. Oh wait, I could mix one of those actually. Seeing as there's blue herbs as well as green herbs, imagine we're somehow gonna encounter giant spiders. Hey man, come over here. I imagine none of these doors will be locked. I assume. I wasn't expecting to really see much of this, to be honest. But it feels like it's its own little mini arc. Oh shit! Oh. I was distracted by Resident Evil Free Nemesis. Oh fuck! No backups. Son of a bitch. There's too many zombies. We're going for this freaking Resident Evil 3. I don't know if I'll record the first part or not. Or that, like immediately after this, because pain in the ass, you know? So, we got loads of those, but we don't really seem to be seeing any ammo anywhere. Now, if I were to guess where some bomb some description would be It'd probably be somewhere in the area, I'd imagine. I assume. No, I don't. What do they give you as healing items and save points? It really is, that's all they give you. It's like here's some here's healing items. Oh, 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 what, what, what's that? You you also wanted ammo? A tough shit. We expect you to dodge or die. Wait. Ah. It's already in place. Now if the tyrant is here on top of all this, I'm gonna be like, are you freaking kidding me? Not properly equipped for this shit. Force camera angles. Is there a bomb around here? No. Wait, what's this? Are you fucking kidding me? The first freaking thing we find of like the weapon variety, and I can't even pick it up. Like, damn you, game! I should have probably been paying more attention. I was kind of just taken aback by how it started off in a kind of RPG-like kind of way. Only for the game to not really go in that general direction at all. Nothing here. Run like fuck. I can't even pick things up because I'm getting drop kick left and right. I think that's ammo. Oh thanks. Could have used that before I was kicked to death. It's just regular shotgun though. So it kinda sucks. Boom! 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 
fuck all of you bastards! We're still somehow alive then. We're not really doing so well though. I mean, what am I expected to do here? It's like, thinking about it, from like, the point of view of, you know, how the game played out, it seemed like right at the start where we started would be the area we need to be. Of course, we're far from there now, and we're kind of fucked. Could use that machine gun, though. Yes, actually. No. And I need to store those red herbs. But click on it, goddammit! Limping! Limping! Actually, I'll keep the one with me. Didn't even need to really put that one away, really, did I? Ow. 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 I'm obviously not going to play through all of this, though. Because I don't even know what the end goal of all this even is. I don't know if I can be asked. And like, with Resident Evil 3, oh, for God's sake, climb it. I don't know what to really expect from Resident Evil 3, so it's like, okay, finally completed Resident Evil 2. It's like, phew, finally, then, oh, here's Resident Evil 3 now. He's like, God damn it! It's like, the difference between the Resident Evil HD Remaster of the original and this here, like when I LP'd between the two, there were months in between. There's not really that kind of case in this scenario though, between this and the third game. It's not going to be unlimited, but it should be able to clear away a little bit. You saw how effective the bloody machine gun was at the start with those bloody zombies when I freaking clicked on the wrong thing. If anything, this kind of reminds me of Time Splitters. Like those kind of little kind of side objective missions. Actually, the original Time Splitters would be very much like this, actually. It's just like, okay, um, here's just a few things to do, and then get the fuck out, more or less. Pain, agony, ow, ow, and ow. Wasn't there a bunch of zombies beyond this door? Fuck you! Uh, you! Saw how many shots that took? Ridiculous. Get back, citizen! Well, security, I mean, what the fuck are you doing down here? You people just look like random pedestrians. Ah! We're no longer playing as Leon, we're playing as that incompetent police officer in that one gutscene. He's just wearing Leon's skin. Can I interact with this? No. Pain. Pain. Oh, 
for crying off, sir! Jesus Christ! You're a bullet sponge! Man, I've got plenty of ammo left, though. It's just not the most effective weapon in the world. Let's have a good old look down here, see what we can find, if not... Oh, hello, sir. I'm gonna try with these bastards, you know? Because I know one hit, and I'd be dead. So I'm not taking any chances. I wonder if there's gonna be a zombie randomly in here as well. Wouldn't be surprised. Wait, what? What? Stage clear! Clear time. 15 minutes and 36 seconds. Fight to the police. Isn't. Oh my god, it's in stages. You're past the point of no return. Oh, I guess the off screen went up there. Unfortunately, we have not been healed or anything. So you tell me, I, is this like a mode that just takes you through the whole game but in reverse? And without the objectives? Because that's kind of weird. Is there anything that I can use? Apparently not. I mean, to think, freaking Claire would just get freaking one weapon and nothing else. I mean, they'd probably pick up weapons along the way, but still. It's a safe room. Unfortunately, there's probably nothing here. Pain and agony. Oh, wait, there are some handgun bullets at least. Yeah, since I'm not going to, you know, save the game or anything here, I'm just gonna simply just put the ink ribbons and the red herb. Actually, should I? Hmm. Yeah, I'll stall that as well. Let's place man. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna run into the giant spiders now that I think about it, going through the sewers. Or maybe we just need to get to the police station and that'll be it. I kinda doubt that would be the end. I sense liquors. I'm pretty sure I just hear the liquor. Oh no, it's just a zombie. You bullet sponging bastards! No! You attack me from off screen, you bitch! That's why I hate, man. The camera doesn't change angle fast enough. Fuck out of here. <laughs> what a way to go. Just leap through dead. Yeah, if I'd switched my shotgun, I might have been able to knock it out of the air, but. Oh well, that was, that was, what was it called again? Extreme battle! Extreme being in that everything's out to get you! See those zombie hordes in the background? Well, that's pretty much what it's like. I mean, as if the main game wasn't filled enough with bloody enemies around every corner. This is just like, okay man, we'll do that. The exact same thing, except not really. We won't have as many objective really to it. You kind of just go in reverse for the whole game, and there'll be enemies 
everywhere. So yeah, that was that. So that'll do. Just like... I don't know when I'll get around to Resident Evil 3. It's like... Just just bought it, so I haven't actually tried it yet. Let alone, you know... Well, well, it'd be a blind LP, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's pretty much what all these Resident Evil games are to me. Just playing them for the first time. But that still annoys me, that does. It's like... On the PS4, you don't have to, like, add your details and all that. So, oh, the fact that it's still like that on the PS3, and I'm just like, I don't like that, though. Just, ah. Uh. But whatever. That'll do for this LP, I guess, unless, well, I don't really, I can't really see myself going back to this mode. I mean, it could unlock something cool, but at the same time, ee, you know, just ee, whatever the hell ee, means. What ee, could mean more or less is that I played the game so much at this point that so I'm just like, okay, moving on. <laughs> just like from this to Resident Evil 3, I wonder if there'll be a drastic difference. I mean, it's called Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Before I've heard of it, Nemesis is an enemy that will pursue you probably in a similar way to the tyrant in this game, I assume. So that'll be fun. I'm not looking forward to that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, extra bonus part of this LP here, and uh, that's all. Peace out.